Okay, I have made up my mind. First thing that we're going to do is actually backtrack. Uh, we are going to encounter new enemies on the sea. We always do. What are they going to be? They're going to be fins. Uh, now, I don't usually backtrack at this point because it is risky, uh, especially when I'm trying to not run from any fight. Uh, but now that we do have a summon that is very useful in Ifrit, I feel like using him to do some other things, if the game will let me. But first, we have to head back to the town of Walls, and the way that we do that is pretty much back through the meteor. Luckily, uh, the ship will cut off a lot of the journey back to the meteor. However, we do have to take on a lot tougher enemies than we are used to seeing in these sea enemies. These fins, the Sahajins, as they looks like to me 135 experience and just the one ability point for all three of them kind of kind of mad about that but i'll take what i can get now what item am i getting this time just a tonic nothing too too important so let's head out through here and around this little peninsula and head north and there is the meteor do we have any more new enemies or is it just going to be more fins? No, we do have Thunder Pits. Sure. Thunder Pits. We'll go with that. We can go ahead and cure all we want. Because, well, once we get to the Meteor, it's pretty much smooth sailing all the way back to walls. Come on, Raina, finish them off and then... Really? Didn't finish them off? Go for Bolt 2. These are water enemies after all. Seriously? Oh, of course, they're Thunder Pits. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Surely them being water enemies has nothing to do with their elemental weaknesses. It is purely based on their names, which is Thunder. Therefore, they are... Wow. They're healed by Thunder. But uh, they're also weak against fist. So down it goes. Down goes the fin. We get 300 gil, 125 experience, and an ability point. Barks has gained a level. Gallop gains a level. Ferris gains a level. Raina is still behind because she died a couple times. But that is still worth it for the level ups. Thank you. And lightning skills. I will take two of those. We could use them in battle, maybe. So it is back into the meteor, which, according to Galuf, is some sort of transportation device, which, well, we already used a as a transportation device, but somehow this came from outer space onto us on purpose from another planet. So let's go back through the Karnak meteor, and we should end up right next to our dragon. If I remember correctly, isn't that where we left our dragon? It is by the Walls Meteor. Very, very nice. So let's head out through here. And down here. And now we can get back on the dragon and head back to the town of Walls. This is how you do it, I know. It is confusing for some people, so I wanted to show that. I do need to purchase some things and rest at the end in walls, so I will take care of that. Okay, I have changed my party just a bit here, and by a bit, I mean I changed pretty much everybody. Now we're pretty much all berserkers, except for Galif, who is going to continue trying to work on his red mage abilities. Uh, I have everybody as berserker for a very specific enemy that we will encounter uh, during this little expedition back to walls. In terms of ability, I have given Bart's two-handed so that he can use the mithril hammer to its best, and I have equipped everybody else with a battle axe. I did give uh, Reyna caution so that we don't get back attacked because this enemy loves to give a back attack. I've put another battle axe onto Ferris. I didn't have an extra shield and to be honest I don't think I need it. I might go back and get one uh, but I don't think I need it just yet and uh, Ferris is going to keep learning on just in case somebody should happen to use a blue magic. We are going to head back into Wall's castle and we are going to take care of something that I don't think I've ever done this early in the game before. 
Let's head down here, down to the basement first floor, and we can head down here. Now, if you remember, they told us not to come here because there be harpies, and harpies be bad. And they are bad. That's why I have berserkers, and I'm sure this is going to be a harpy. It is a harpy. And it instantly starts off by almost killing Ferris. Now, I have everybody as a berserker, and I have given them very powerful equipment, especially the axe, because the axe usually can go through the harpy's defense. Unfortunately, wow, seriously, I am not doing well, not doing well. We're going to go ahead and go for a raise here instead of using the phoenix down. Now, I cannot control the Berserkers the way the Berserker class works. Are you serious? There we go. Finally got a hit in. Moon flutes all around, which casts Berserk, and it only works on Galif. Uh, so now Galif is Berserked. Everybody is Berserked. I am pretty much out of control of this fight. However, if people should hit with their axes and their hammers, we should be able to take down the harpy. Finally! Don't I don't want to run from the harpies. I don't want to run from anything. So that's what made this uh, postponed so late. Usually you would just run from those things. You get a gill, and that is it. I mean, you damn near don't get anything for killing these guys. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I will take this time to heal. With that done, damn near all my tonics gone. Let's head up here and we can learn speed, a new time magic spell. And 2,000 gil, always appreciated. Now we can head up here, and yes, we're going to get into a fight with another harpy. Now I see a treasure chest over there, and I want to get it. Damn it, another harpy fight. Thanks to the berserkers, though, I am able to handle them. And in here, we can get another elf cloak. Now I think it's time to get the hell out of here as fast as we can as I get into another fight. Now I have got risky here and tried to let Ferris learn how to use the moon flute ability and I was able to do it in order to do that you have to have Ferris not be a uh, berserker because berserkers cannot be affected by moon flute so you need Ferris to be something else and then you can go back well then you can be affected by it be berserked and then learn how to use the moon flute ability which is probably going to be very useful against certain mage enemies. Now I need to go back and heal and save once more. And now for the real reason that we've come back, of course the items are nice, especially a new spell, uh, but there's something more important that we wanted to take care of here. I have, well, given everybody back their job classes so that we can work on those a little bit more. Uh, Galif is a summoner again instead of a red mage. Uh, because of what we're going to be doing uh, just a little bit. And unfortunately, I changed his job class after I rested at the end, which is why he's not fully, well, healed and ready to go. But it should be, should be more than enough, I think. We need to head up through here, through this waterfall here. And we have made it through an underground waterway behind the waterfall in the back of the castle. Now we just need to climb these and keep climbing and keep climbing. Now I probably could have done this earlier on, but it is very, very difficult uh, to do this early on. Do we have new enemies now that we are in a new area? We do not. Now you see that shiny, I don't know, green circle with a flame inside. I'm not exactly sure what it is. That is what we are headed for though. And I think those of you that are a fan of Final Fantasy know at least what kind of thing we're looking at here. Let's go ahead and take care of it. It is Shiva! I am Shiva! You think you can stand against me? Well, we shall see. And it's boss time. We're up against Shiva. And now you know why I brought a summoner along with me. Because this thing, as you might expect, weak to fire. And Raina is coming in with a counter. Very nice. Is that enough to take it out? It is not. Uh, so let's go for Fire 2. We're going to focus on Shiva. We'll take out the Ice Commanders uh, later on if 
Galif could get his turn, that would be appreciated. This is not an easy fight, even at the level that I am now, to be honest with you. Is, see, I mean, even the Ice Commanders are not gone yet. Ice 2 across the board, it does a decent amount of damage, but doesn't do as much as Ifrit does. Shiva, of course, is weak to fire. I think I've mentioned that a few times. Finally, down go the Ice Commanders. And now we should be free to do attacks with Bart's do some massive damage there and down goes Shiva so if you are able to exploit Ifrit it can be a tough fight which is why I put this off for so long get five ability points but we have finally gotten Shiva into well we've defeated her we haven't necessarily confirmed that she's going to join us but I assume she is we defeated her those are the rules that's how the game goes and we've received the summon monster Shiva just like I thought very nice happy music and it looks like we are done here in the town of walls but that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of let's play final fantasy 5 i've been bala scuba i've been joined as always by my trusty squad of bars reina gallif and ferris when we continue next time we'll find out where the earth crystal is maybe hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time Thanks for watching.